This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Amanda Starantino, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Breaking news, a federal judge here in Indiana has stopped the first federal execution in 17 years, and it's all because of the coronavirus. Daniel Lee was supposed to die by lethal injection in Terre Haute on Monday, but the judge put the execution on hold because the family of the victims wanted to be there but are afraid to travel during the pandemic. Daniel Lee was convicted in Arkansas of the 1996 killings of gun dealer William Mueller and his wife Nancy and her eight year old daughter Sarah Powell. The Indiana Department of Natural Resources discovered a body floating in Eagle Creek Reservoir this morning while searching for a missing boater. The identity of the person who Cruz found still has not been confirmed. DNR has been searching the water since Wednesday for a man who fell out of a paddle boat when a gust of wind blew it over. This is video from Wednesday's search. A woman in the boat made it to safety, but the man was not found. Again, new developments today. DNR has found a body in Eagle Creek Reservoir. The person's identity has not been released. We do not know if it's the boater. We will bring you any updates we get on the IndyChannel.com and the RTV6 app. Kevin. Temperatures reached the upper 80 Saturday afternoon. It looks like the thunderstorms will hold off until Saturday night. Little uh, areas to the north will see the thunderstorms arrive a little bit earlier in the day. There's 7 o'clock. Then 9 o'clock, the line comes together by 11 sweeping through Indy with additional overnight thunderstorms. Seven-day forecast, temperatures all the way into the mid to upper 90s potentially by the end of next week. Amanda? For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.